Hello and welcome to The Buzz in Milwaukee, a show that centers around making a better you, bringing you insight on topics like health, beauty, fashion, and everyday well-being. Subjects that are not fabricated, but real. Life situations from real life people that do more than just work a nine to five or run their own businesses. Today we have in the studio with us today, Chef Frederick, Andre, I have to say that, of course, bringing in your new year dish with an upscale taste, but of course not to waste. Expensive, but not too much out of your po pocketbook, of course. Keeping you and your family happy and healthy for meals to come. TSX Design House is a sustainable luxury design house. It was founded in 2002 in an effort to move the fashion industry out of the use of waste and to propel the idea into a new generation that you can look fly and that fashion can still be fashion forward, functional, comfortable, and beautiful, and still save the planet. So all of the clothes and products that TSX Design House creates are eco-friendly, made with non-toxic dyes and threads. We create all our own prints and we only do limited runs to minimize our waste. We also specialize in marketing, um, sustainable and luxury brand management, and our brand is experiential, so the customer and consumer experiences it through the activities that it promotes. Um, it's chakra inspired, so that means that everything that we make and create is based on and inspired by chakras, auras and their color schemes. So we try to make sure that every outfit really speaks to the consumer's spirit and what's going on inside of them so that they can really project that onto the outside world. TSX stands for tantric sex. So it already instantly has that chakra focus. And what chakras are, are energy centers within your body from numbers one to seven, starting here in your seat, going all the way up to here. There's actually more, but the focus is seven. So it's, it goes just like a rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, violet. What I've done is with my collections is I've added the eighth chakra. So what I'm wearing right now is a representation of when your auras are completely aligned and your chakras are completely balanced. So every outfit really should demonstrate and exude what your chakras are and what your auras are. And in a fashion show, what I love to exhibit are the chakra gowns. So we focus on the chakra dance activation within the fashion show. It's a mix between yoga, it has a touch of ballet, and I like to put um, some trap yoga moves in with it too. I feel like it really allows each model to feel their chakras and their aura while they're on the catwalk, and it really shows the value of the, the dress to the consumer. So as the model is walking, she goes and she busts one of her yoga moves, and usually it's a move that she's mastered, so she's very confident in that move, and I always dress the model Models, according to what I feel their strongest chakra energies are. My first guest studied culinary arts at the downtown campus at the Milwaukee Area Technical College. He also appeared as one of the top 40 contestants on his hit TV series, on, or on the hit t TV series, uh, Master Chef. With me in the studio today is Chef Frederick Andre Coleman of Studio 69. What's going on, man? How, How you doing? doing? I'm fine. How you doing? <laughs> nice to meet man, you. Man, you got a lot going on here, man. Show me what's going on. What's happening? Well, today I wanted to do some salmon cakes, okay. which is a spin off of crab cakes. Uh, I don't eat crab and I don't eat tuna. So many years ago, I decided that I don't want to be left out at the table. So I decided to come up with something that I like. And I came up with the uh, salmon cakes. Okay. And so that's what we're doing today. So what's the process? You know, take us through it. Well, today we have uh, the salmon, and I use canned salmon, but I've also used uh, a, a filleted salmon that I actually uh, poached. 
and break it up just like this. I add potatoes, onions, and garlic, which you'll see when we put it together. I put a little egg in here as a binder, mm. binder sometimes. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I do, it depends. Uh, or breadcrumbs. And then from here, we just have a little, we're gonna make up a little tartar sauce. I'll probably have you put your hands in there and do uh -oh. that. If not, then I'll do it. And, uh, <laughs> These then we, hands? Yeah, hey, you know, we all can do something. And then I have the garnish. I have okay. the uh, uh, parsley and I have a lemon as well uh, wow. for our garnish. Hey, right. I'm excited. Let's, let's see how you start things off. All right, What's cool, cool. Thing? Well, the first thing I like to do is put some gloves on when I'm touching fish. <laughs> All right. Smart. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, unless I'm just doing like a whole bunch of uh, cooking, then I'll do that. But other than that, I just want to put on some gloves. And uh, once again, I have what we have here is the, the salmon. Uh, I, add, I added my own little spin on it. You okay. know, I put some potatoes, once again, some sauteed sweet onions and uh, some garlic. And in fact, I didn't put the garlic in there. so. We'll just have to mince some of that up. Okay. All right. That's so, the only way I eat my onions is when it's sauteed. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> so yeah, we just uh, add a little little bit of garlic. I love garlic. Uh, garlic is one of those things that people are starting to catch on to it, but it's it's good for the blood. It's a, a good immune builder. Uh, I know when I make my uh, hot toddies, if you know what that is, I put a lot of garlic in there. So. Really? I got, I got a nice. I got one clove in here. Uh, it all depends on you know what you like. All right. Okay. And uh, a little salt. All right. Oh, yeah, that's the good stuff. <laughs> Put, once again, I have the egg. Uh, with the egg, once again, uh, I use it as a binder. Sometimes I don't. Uh, it depends on uh, if I'm cooking for a vegans or a vegetarian, things of that sort. Oh, you cook uh, all dishes? I cook all dishes. Oh, wow. uh, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm not discriminatory about uh, <laughs> what somebody eats. But other than that, yeah, so basically what I do is, uh, you know, I just mix it all together. Sometimes I'll mix it and put it in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes because that egg you want to kind of bind let in, it, let it soak, let in it, there. let yeah. it set. All right, and that's what helps it keep uh, helps uh, keep it together. All right, as a cake. All right, so we're just gonna make a couple of them up. We got our oil on right here. Uh, you see, I've had a few in there already. Uh, you could actually use uh, any type of oil. You can use vegetable oil. You can use. Uh, Canola uh, oil. Canola oil, whatever <laughs> oil you like. Uh, the one thing that I don't try to use is olive oil, because olive oil burns pretty fast. Ooh. So, but today we're using a, a regular vegetable oil. Uh, all okay. right. That's cool. And so, if you don't mind, oh, uh, you inside the refrigerator, the we bread? have the, the, the plate with the breadcrumbs. Oh. Yes, yes. Let's pull that out and just put it on the back counter over here. Okay. All right. So as I put this together, in fact, you can just bring it up here. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So basically, I do have a quarter cup here. You can use a quarter cup just so that they could all be uniform. Okay. All right. But after you do them for a while, you know, you just kind of know what to do. And basically just put, my, put them inside my hand, keep my thumb tucked here, and just make some cylinders. All right. Okay. Pressing down on Not it. Not circles, but cylinders. I, I call them cylinders, <laughs> okay. all right? And once again, it's a cake. Uh, it's the difference between this and a salmon croquette. A okay. salmon croquette is a smaller uh, cylinder, uh, and it also has a lot of people put green peppers and onions in them. So okay. anyway, if you see, we have a few of them that's made here, and I just bread them with some breadcrumbs. You can use whatever type of breadcrumbs you like, whether it's panko. Uh, don't, I try to stay away from panko because they cook fast, but you can use panko. I use regular uh, breadcrumbs that has garlic and herbs in there. All right, so we've got a couple of them made here, and then the oil is up. We're going to throw a couple in there in just a second. And basically, we just want to cook them until they're brown. Okay. All right, the, the salmon is already done. You know, we're not trying to cook the salmon until it dries out, and that's one thing. You want to make sure that the salmon cakes st stay moist. All right? Yeah, because that's important. And that's the reason why I add the potatoes. The potatoes hold a lot of water. Not a lot of water, but it holds moisture. So when I'm cooking it, I make sure that it's not going to dry out on me by adding things like that. Okay. So cool. I'm just going to add it to the to the oil here. Hear that sizzle? Yeah. That means they're talking to you. The shizzle, my nizzle. The shizzle, right? <laughs> so we don't want to crowd the pan or anything, but we want to give them their own space here. All right. And basically, it's just going to go for about two or three minutes on each side. I'm going to brown them. All right, and then we're going to plate them up. Uh, the one thing that I like to uh, tell people about the, the salmon, yes, yes, smell that. <laughs> one thing I like to tell people about the salmon cakes is that, you know, it's, it's great on that fish fry Friday that we normally have. Oh, man. Uh, people want to uh, enjoy uh, uh, something different other than a fish. Uh, I know some people on the East Coast don't know what a fish fry is on Friday, but 
here in Wisconsin, <laughs> we do fish fries. Okay. So I, once again, I use uh, salmon cakes. Uh, when I was a firefighter for 14 years. Oh, you were a firefighter. Of, yes, yes. And you're so burning? No, you can't. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, so the, the, the men love my uh, salmon cakes. You know, okay, I would come okay. in and let them know that I was doing salmon cakes instead of fried fish, and they were fine with that, all right? So anyway, if you, you see them, they're, they're cooking pretty good here. I'm going to turn it over. That's just one. I'll probably let them go a little bit more, but that's the color that we're really looking for right there. Okay. All now, right? now, explain to me some of the health benefits that when it comes down to mixing. Okay, I see you got a lot of healthy stuff. So what's, what's your mindset when you're making food like that and, like, the benefits of eating this food, too? As well? Absolutely. Well, you know, obviously, you know, fish, you know, it, it has less fat than, you know, your beef and your pork, you know, and your chicken. So for me, uh, I, I do a lot of uh, yoga and that type of stuff, wellness. So I'm always going with low fat foods. And fish has always been that one item that I go to other than vegetables, of course. But when I really want to have that meat taste or texture or whatnot, I go with the oil, with the, with the fish. So uh, the ingredients that I have, is not a whole bunch of ingredients. Uh, I haven't put a whole bunch of uh, anything in there except you know salt, pepper, and the potatoes, and the onions, which are, are good. And the oil is probably the, the most fattening thing, you know. <laughs> and, and truthfully, you know, I really don't use a lot of oil. You know, sometimes I flatten them and I just put a little bit of oil inside. And, and, and this one, I actually put butter. So, so that's for that flavor. So, so if, you, if you had to choose between what to, I guess you can, you know, base your or coat your pan with before you start cooking, would you rather go with butter or would you rather go with oil? Well, I'm going to tell you the truth. I love butter. Okay. So that's the reason why I can't be a vegan, because I love <laughs> butter and I love eggs, all right? So, um, yeah, I, I, I'd rather coat anything with butter. You know, I'll eat, any, I'll eat a lemon with butter on what it. What about the butter that, that says that you can't believe it's butter? That's not butter. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I have to stay away from. And that's the other thing. I'm not a, uh, I don't eat a lot of soy. Uh, my diet doesn't consist of a lot of soy. So even when we buy the vegetable oils, it's soy. Okay. So I try to stay away from that, and I also definitely stay away from, I can't believe it's butter. You know, as soon as I see it, I'm like, yeah, I believe it's not butter, you know, so I don't <laughs> use it. But to each his own, to each his own. Uh, but for me, as a, a health nut or a wellness person, I like to stay with uh, olive oils or non-fattening oils. I use coconut oil a lot uh, when I'm baking. I have a, a baking, uh, what would I, I have a, a dish. And I can't really tell you what it is, but I have a dish where I use coconut oil, and that's how I got on MasterChef. Okay, you know, and so. you know what? We're going to talk more about that, but right now we're going to have to move on. And okay, then cool, cool. We're, we're going to meet at, the, at a table, I believe, and Absolutely. we're going to eat this food, and it's going to be really right. great, and I'm excited. Well, here, let's plate it up then, all right? What I have for you today is some uh, rice, all right? And it's some curry rice. Sometimes I stuff it with a little uh, raisin, but I also made some greens. I love okay. greens. Uh, it's a it's a it's a it's a, a, a great uh, dish or great uh, uh, item for iron in your system, and I also have some that's made up here. So what we're gonna do? We're just gonna plate this up real quick. Okay. All right. Smooth that over. We will put one there, and we're gonna grab one more. I like three cakes. <laughs> Two cakes is not enough. You know, it's all. Right. Got it. We'll got it. Got to get your cakes. Minute. Now while we're letting that drain, <laughs> what I want to do? I just want to get a little parsley in here, all right, and let's chop that up a little bit, all right, maybe throw a little bit on the rice for a little color, maybe a little bit on top of the actual salmon, it's looking good, ain't it? Oh, yeah. I, I, I you. heard your stomach growl. Hey, right. you did? And then, if you don't mind, <laughs> I ate before I you want to hold that for me? <laughs> what we're going to do, we're going to make up a really quick sauce. All right, you want to throw that in there? Oh, wait, put this in there? Yeah, put that in there. Yeah, and that's good. That's good. You can okay. put that down under there. And basically, what I'm going to do, I just made, we just made a little tartar sauce. Oh. All right. So that's how you make tartar sauce? That's how you make tartar sauce. What? And you could either put it on the side or put it on top, but I just like to put mine on the side. We also have, really quickly, a little hot sauce. Oh, yeah. All right. Maybe a couple of stable. dabs around the edges. You're going to make me lick the edge. <laughs> well, this is habanero sauce. So. Oh, well, never mind then. <laughs> right. right there like that. And this is going to be 
plate. You can yeah, slide is, that over. Oh yeah, this is looking. This is looking yep. too fire. And then we'll end with the little, with the little uh, lemon. All right. A lemon garnish. Just like that. Voila. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Like, if you want to come join me at the table, that'd be great. Yeah, let's go. All right. Uh, you grab a piece. Legends Gym was founded about six years ago by Henry Adell. It's a family-owned business. Legends Gym Personal Training Facility offers yoga, kundalini yoga, boxing, weightlifting, and private open gym. They focus on chakra activation, mind, body, and spirit. And I love it because whenever I come, I always leave feeling better than I did before I came. Private sessions are also available at tsxdesignhouse.weebly.com. We have joining us at the table today, Director of Student Life at the MATC downtown campus. And he's going to be talking to us about a lot of things pertaining to student life and what it means to be a student and how to be a successful one. Welcome. How you doing? What's going on? Absolutely amazing, man. Glad to be here. And then, you know, of course, we got other guests here. So, um, you know, for the viewers who, you know, may have never heard your voice before, tell them your, let, let them hear your voice and, and tell them your name. Me? Yes. Oh, I'm Ebony Adele of TSX Design House. Okay. So we got um, a designer and a student life. So we're going to figure out how we're going to put two and two together. <laughs> So starting with you, um, you know, so what made you get into your position and how you like it so far and where you see it going? Well, I've been in higher education for the majority of my professional career and I, um, I, I the impact that I'm able to have on students um, near and far is just, is just tremendous and I, um, I, I know this is my true passion, my life's work and I, I hope to, to, to stay in it for a while now. I'm working on my doctorate in higher education. I'll be done uh, in, um, in December uh, and so uh, ultimately um, just giving back, making sure students know of the resources that they have uh, available to them as students here at MATC is our most, my most important goal uh, and my staff's goal as well. Making sure that they understand exactly that we're here to support them and that they do have a, a support structure here at the college. Because I know for, for a lot of students, uh, especially those who full time, sure. they may have a lot of other situations, you know, circumstances, you know, surrounding their, you know, their career and, and the grind, I guess you could say, sure. that it takes to get there, you know, is, you know, you almost can kind of say, kind of say that, that having someone like you in their corner makes more sense to have. It's definitely stressful, right? College is a thing that um, takes time, it takes energy, it takes dedication. And we want uh, students to know that there are spaces where they can get support uh, when life gets a little bit tough, right? We, uh, we just opened a new resource center on the second floor of our student building um, that is solely focused on uh, supporting the students in a very holistic way. We have mental health counselors on site. We have a legal aid person just in case you get into some, some trouble, whether it be um, you know, uh, driver's license recovery and or if you just need some legal advice. Uh, we have a number of other uh, support structures within that space, but it's 215, room 215. It was our old testing center, uh, and we found that it, uh, it was a, a, a great use of space, being able to bring our resources from another building, and it was kind of scattered out, to one centralized location where the majority, are, uh, the majority of our students are. Um, we're just excited to be able to continue to provide those resources to continue to assure that students are successful here at MATC. Okay. Yeah. And and for you, I know you have a lot going on yourself. Yes. Um, you you work with a lot of people with yes. with passion, just like you. So explain on that element, like kind of like what you do and how your passion fuels that, and how do you think that affects other people in their passion? Well, um, I'm a mom. Uh, I work full time. Well, I was working full time as an art teacher because that's what I do as my nine to five. And as an entrepreneur, I um, run my business. Um, I'm an artist, a fashion designer, a writer, a painter, mm. and I think that I like to um, fuel students' imagination and creativity. I like for them to understand that they have like options 
um, to build a foundation to create their own roads to success. And I try to instill in all of my art students that they have to know how to make creative decisions, um, independent creative decisions, because it helps them to like make all kinds of decisions in other subjects like math, ELA, social studies. Like it affects their whole way of thinking. So that's what I like to do in my classroom. Okay, and and you find students act like their their responses to what you're teaching them. Do you find it like do you see the success? Like are they are you starting to, are they starting to produce? the things that you're instilling. Yes, okay. I, I do think that my students like turn out projects that reflect what I'm trying to do. Okay, um, I specialize in protest art and um, chakra art, like I paint chakras oh, wow. and auras. <laughs> so I'm really into like messages that um, created by media and imagery. And I find that my students in particular, even my littles, like my kindergartners and first graders and second graders, like they have very strong skills in creating abstract imagery that look like like how they feel, like really projecting their feelings and their dreams and whatever it is they want to create through their imagery, colors, lines, and like all the elements of art. Okay, wow, that's that's wonderful. And then for you, Frederick, I mean, you got a lot. I mean, you're a, you're a superstar, so I, I don't even deserve to even sit right here. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I just you know, as you uh, go through life, uh, everybody's different. Everybody has different passions. For me, I just try to pick up pick up things as I go along. I've always been an athlete or into wellness. Uh, now, as I age, I have to slow things down. I can't do the hardcore stuff uh, back then, but I still do my jujitsu. I still teach. Uh, I love the art. Uh, it is art, uh, culinary arts. Uh, I do yoga, all of that. So anything that's dealing with developing the mind, developing the body, uh, expression. You know, to me, expression is everything. You know, if we allow people to express, you know, uh, whether it's art or sports or whatnot, man, that's when the beauty comes out. That's what makes all of us so different and, and makes us so beautiful because we all have a different expression. And that's pretty much what I feel like I bring to the table whenever I walk in any room. I'm ready for whatever comes, you know. Uh, not, not in an arrogant way, but my mind is open. I'm, I'm an a empty vessel. I'm a student as well. You know, no matter how old I get, I'm always a student. I always tell my children the same thing. You're always going to be a student. Wow. So thank you all so much for your time dealing with this well-needed topic. Uh, coming up next, we have a special live performance from Kells of TSX Design House. So I'm excited about this. Thank you for joining us here at The Buzz in Milwaukee. Look for us next time on your local station. I'm your host, Simeon, uh, and I'm excited for what's going to come next. Spit that off a bit like it's poetry. All them fellas do a shake, yes, call it blow a true. Never let them close to me. You was what it was, I'm what it's supposed yeah, to be. Yeah. I'ma tell the truth, bring out the ghost of me. Uh, who that said they gon' stop me? Who that said they gon' stop me? Watch me, I'm creating my buzz. Y'all light years behind me. Or you'll take slick talk. Yeah, I'm defecating. You been effing up, running. Now I'm delegating, I've been contemplating, never hesitating, I be regulating, you be replicating, ain't resonate, you, you degenerate, I'm accelerating, now I'm detonating, I've been on my wheezy, sorry for the wait, <laughs> come get me, move swiftly, through the fire, I'm untouchable, call me Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, I'm ready to go, he call me Hera, fix my mascara, I ain't scared of lions, tigers, or bearers, I'm writing my jungle book, beware her, fellas beware her, Ladies be clearer, been hated since that eight nine. Devil been tried to stop us, slow my heart rate down. No weapon formed against me, gon' prosper. It's that little engine that could. Talk y'all hating, what's good? What y'all hating? Y'all should kiss my right this wood. Wedge like a tight do ride them, ride the queen of the titans. I tighten my grip on his neck with my legs. Why he eating his women? My water's beside and I tighten my grip on his game. Cause give up but the fame. Hey, this still sort of my name, cause we ain't cooking the same. Cause you seen, I get a little bit no gas, I get it started, no match, effort for pain. I'ma aim straight for the top, I'ma prepare to my peak, you ain't in my plane. Blow tight, no dangles, wrist covered in bangles. My mama told him I'm a star, 
Brits style star spangled. My coat tour stay urban. TSX with my turban. Spice my chicken with bourbon. Just the velvet rope, no virgin. Spit that off a bit like it's poetry. All day, do a shake, yes, call it poetry. Never let them close to me. You was what it was, I'm what it's supposed to be. I'ma tell the truth, bring out the ghost to me. Never too pretty, this big bar's this gritty. I grew up on Kim, Eve, Fox, Charlie, and Missy. I'm light as a rock, a lady of break. I'm royal and blue, like ooh, ooh, ooh. What you gon' do? Now we're her kin, I've got next of kin. I've got him and him. She be in the her life, she f the word up with the pen. I'm like, hot damn, here we go again. I bleed blue through the pen, spit verses, chapters, amen. Oh yeah, we chose to win, and I got it locked in the game like my bros in them. Tell you, and then some like a metaphor, can't get it. I be, I snuck up in your ID, I stick it to them. I be, go DJ, cause that's my, that's my hit replay. When I drop my, I drop my, now what she say? She said I got one, we give a five for the ladies. We spit that out for bit like it's poetry. All they do is say yes, call it poetry. Never let them close to me. You was what it was, I'm what it's supposed to be. I'ma tell the truth, bring up the ghost to me. Yeah.